Hi uh, everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're going to be looking more of Hunter Than Parenting, The Big D's Guide to Avoiding Arrest, a Hunter the Parenting audio log. Today we're going to be finishing this up, and then, at least on my end, immediately moving on to the brand new audio log that just came out, because holy shit, that's something I can say about the Alpha Boosa schedule. Having them, and then watching through it, and finishing it, and then having another one already ready to go? Oh god, this is freaking spoiling me, man, and I love it. Basically, as you could probably guess, I'm enjoying this. I think the humor is witty and entertaining and well thought out and has multiple layers to it that somehow still function on those multiple layers without too many contradictions that aren't intended. Also, with intending contradictions that show that they're not quite talking the same language sometimes. And it's freaking brilliant, man. What I'm trying to ask you to do is go down to the link below, hit up the original video, watch it through, leave a like, comment, let them know it's awesome, and, and then do the rest for me. But mostly do it on Alpha Boost, this video, because it's freaking amazing, man. Let's get started. You're now free to go. Thank you very much, Detective. Sorry, what was that? Detective, I... I didn't have to pause to hear that again. And I'm gonna do it again anyways, because I fucking love this line. Because it's just that little quip that just sinks in there. It means absolutely nothing, but it's just him sneaking through his own enforced, paranoid, polite act and saying what he thinks. I just, I love it so Your much. Your time, you're now free to go. Thank you very much, Detective. Little Sorry, what like was this. Detective? I have had a time of uh, it. Just it's definitely a time. <laughs> Glad to hear it, Guff. Glad to hear oh it. Oh my god. And I pray that jaw of yours heals up right quick. Is how often you're talking sure it will. Oh, it has. Oh, much worse, that. Must have been your guardian angel or something. Well, if you believe in that kind of thing. Uh, I'm a bit of a skeptic, personally. Oh, really? Yes. I definitely don't believe in Bigfoot. I like ghosts and supernatural stuff and all that, but I don't know, how would that stuff even work? I feel like science would have caught on to there being just this whole other spectrum of matter and energy just kind of floating around old forests and manors by now. While I'm sure we're all aware he's bullshitting, except for the little thing in the back of my head thinking, maybe this is what he isn't aware of, but I'm really doubting that. He's just being so incredibly specific about what doesn't exist and he doesn't believe it exists. It exists exactly as he says. It's like he's let his guard down enough that he's going to give away the game by trying not to give away the game in a way that's completely giving away the game. I just love this. <laughs> Bingo bongo. Right. Yeah. Or in tunnels or whatever. Uh, yeah. yeah. Tunnels? Oh shit, but look at the time. And he realized path. he's off no to make a mistake. Fucking way. I've got to go myself. It's the weekend, so. No one has told him of the tunnels. I mean, I'm kind of assuming someone did mention the tunnels. But also, literally, we know he's a Camarilla agent, if I'm saying that right. Because of when he was talking about the evil den, he just had that sudden reaction. It was only for a split second, but I love the image because I just wanted to highlight because it was so freaking off for the rest of the characterization it's also the moment where it's like oh yeah no no he's definitely camarilla there's no way he wouldn't have that sudden uncontrollable reaction otherwise I know no one has to why is he covering for right? big d though does your great and mighty one need escorting out he is an agent yeah there's no doubt about it now he knew about them all along yep he screwed up no that won't be necessary oh this is still the part i don't get why is he going out of his way to give big d an alibi. He's being very accommodating about it. Unless, okay, the usual one I go to is they're using him as a monkey's paw. I know it's actually supposed to be cat's paw. I couldn't remember the word cat's paw, but I was intending monkey's paw, oddly enough, because I think any tr one trying to use Big D is going to get fucked over as if they made a wish on a monkey's paw. Don't look it up online in public because uh, there's a lot of... Um, I'm not going to say it's anything R34 related just because the actual story itself is pretty fucked up. Cat's paw is like actually someone doing your job. A monkey's paw is doing the job, but doing it in such a way that you really wish they hadn't. You know, compliance, but vengeful. Very vengeful. Oh, that's good. They could just be trying to kill ah. him, though. Oh, such a scatterbrain. Yeah. I've got one final question, actually, but... Quite Are you a hunter? Unrelated. Do I need to kill you? I go right ahead. Dropping the act? Do you know a Caitlin Wetsworth? What? Yes. My mother. What? Your sister. Fuck! She's reported you as missing multiple times. But you've been reported as accounted for now, eh? You even... Oh. 
Oh. Ah. That is interesting. And it does make me believe we have now found the shaman's role in this. I'd assume, and I could also be completely wrong because, again, lacking information, but that's just my initial assumption. I wasn't expecting direct references to family or to just have him say it off the top of his tongue like it wasn't even a secret or even go into internal dialogue talking about why that was weird. Because normally whenever he hears or says something that kind of sticks out, he goes into the internal monologue here, though. It's so much of a natural thing like, oh, yeah, do you know about this person who we just have in the other room? Their name? Yeah, it's, you know, Kitten. That's actually not his name. I've been calling him the wrong one the entire time. I'm not going to change because it's as far as I'm concerned, still Kitten. But just, that's interesting because I believe that actually is the name of his mother. And someone else is using to report him. And they're also claiming to be a lot younger than they say they are. And said that you were out traveling, weren't you? But she's kept up with the reports. Oh. Maybe you should look into that. Damnation! And there's a clip out. I did not lose and fall like that so close to the end. I... I made a mistake. No. Big D doesn't make mistakes. And the irony here, I don't think he actually did. I think he's being played, and it sounds like I got the answer of who's playing him. It's Mommy Dearest. I was really not expecting that twist. Big D can't be defeated. You can't not be told and guilted into calling your mother. Down country detective, not by all the vampires in the world. Ah, <laughs> uh, detective. Uh, oh, he's going to yeah. tell him now. It's been a while, hasn't it? Since last you had your fill. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Have no fear, detective. You've passed. Passed? You followed the first tradition without fault. The regent of Greyhound congratulates you. Come to the house for your next assignment. You are expecting. What? Oh, and don't be so good. Um. I'm assuming he's bullshitting. I am heavily assuming he's bullshitting, but also there's that little bit in the back of my mind going, is he a half-breed? Can that actually happen? People have been uh, hesitant to talk about that. Like, a lot of people are talking about all the various things that can happen, but can you be half-human and half-vampire? Because I, I don't... Because I'm betting right now what he's doing is very much, I don't even, I just, I have so many speculations right now. And even for me, I don't want to put words to them just because they are so much more speculative than usual. Normally I have some guide of what I'm thinking based on what I know is going to happen due to this being a spiritual successor. So certain beats of narrative will kind of mirror what happened beforehand. But this one is so different that there's no previous outline to see if it matches up to in some way, shape, or form. I don't know if he's bullshitting here, or if he's bullshitting because he says that he belongs to this group and is giving representation based on it. Of course, he, I don't think he actually is, or maybe the alternative there is he isn't anymore. I don't know which way that's going. Is he lying, or is he only partially lying? Personally, I would lean more towards partially just because those usually make for better lies. Here, she has to mention this to the others. It simply won't oh. do. But, but what, what should my report say? Yeah, well, he just gave it away. The ordinary. Ensure this is buried as quickly and quietly as possible. Which he was already going to do. The best part is it also proves that Big D's made only one mistake. Not in anything he has said, but literally this last point. The detective isn't the one he's going against. It's literally his mom. Or who he oh, identified as mom. Excellent work. Y yes, master. Thank you, master. Oh, and damn. then I strutted out he in the didn't most actually modest way I possibly could to shed any doubt that I was mortal before that poor little detective. And so our police adventure had come to a close, and we were not indicted. Just a little thing. I like how as he's saying this, and this video is definitely about to end, the moon is setting. 
and the fact that he thinks the normal way he would walk is in any way, shape, or form not immodest. Well, maybe modest, maybe. Granted, with those short shorts, I don't think modesty ever actually applied, and he doesn't realize. He's kind of doing it already. Neither by the law, nor by the Camarilla. Mommy Dearest is standing outside, isn't she? That was a roller coaster of emotion! Likes of which I have is he not back, back since telling the last Kevin all this? Actual roller coaster. You speak words, and the words are true. He's actually back Kevin. with Kevin talking. You should have murked that guy, though. Murked? Uh, rubbed out. Killed? Made past tense. How forward? He, you should have killed him. Now that obviously I had considered. I'm surprised he didn't. And you know how cops get. You ice one corrupt police chief, all of a sudden, oh, you have to leave the country now. How many countries is he banned from? Which country did this happen? That's not the point in Bangladesh. I am just... Really? Only Bangladesh? I mean, yeah, sure, I'm not surprised, but also, I was really expecting a few more names than that. Huh. One question. Just one. I have many, <laughs> but I'm focusing on the cop thing. You never explained why you used my name during the interrogation. Especially since they would have oh, found him in the I house. I just needed an unused identity in the area. I already had your license, so I felt it worked. That makes zero sense. Well, yeah. it's also so I can help you sell your apartment. I'm you now. Really? You would do that? For sure. But what if Smurples? Well... Do not sigh. He is a burden to no one. He's a cat. Uh... They own you don't realize it. Or you don't, at least. A boy has always wanted a familiar of sorts. An excellent reward for capping Pewter. On the one hand, again, Big D. Good grandpa. On the other hand, nothing attached to boy, in here or otherwise, is ever as normal as we think. I mean, I'm suddenly assuming Smurples is either some kind of crazed werecat, or is the great rat come back again? Because that's something they were building up to. Oh! Has he taken care of a pet before? He has, but he's a clever lad. I'm sure he'll manage. It's a cat. They just need food, food and not to be every want and need. You will not have to think about anything. Will everyone else be nice to him, though? I don't no. want to leave him in the hands of a lone child with gun interests. Uh, Safer than a lot of kids. Kevin, I do not like cats. That confirms it. You are a demon, just as I figured. But just for you. I will be injecting toxoplasmosis into my brainstem later today to ensure I do not kick him into a chimney. Okay, one, I have no idea what toxoplasmosis is. I'm assuming he just said he's going to get high. But also, that's a big enough word that I could be very wrong. Two, he didn't deny being a demon. That is one of the few things I did not consider, and people brought it up, and they said, yeah, there's like some things kind of line up with it, but honestly, I don't really think it's... Most people in comments have not been telling me it was a demon! And more or less agreeing that it's kind of one of the more far-fetched ones. Hell, Faye was a bigger running point. Good. Because if you so much as pull his tail, I will enter your house and explode. Uh, You're already in the house. He, also, he doesn't actually have a house. He just though, stays in someone else's. Isn't using my name in this manner incredibly fucking irrational? Yes. Won't it give up your cover? Yes. <laughs> oh, Kevin. You might be able to fool your pack mates, but me? You weren't known as Kevin, nor Kevin Wetsworth, when you were with the Camarilla, were you? Uh, how? Kevin's name was Wetsworth. Okay, so it's not Big D's mom. Ah, uh, I got so excited, and then... Nope. I literally completely forgot his first name was Kevin, and his last name was Wetsworth. I mean, I remember Kevin, just Wetsworth? Nope, completely forgot that. And that's why he said it as mother instead of sister, because it was Kevin's sister, and... I got so excited! So damn excited! Ah, god damn! I'm just shitting myself on the face right now. I know what I said, and I stand by it, unfortunately. Would <sighs> you know this? I know more of your old master than you know yourself. I know that after death, you were stripped of your old name, burned away, and given a new one. An alias defined by the regent herself to meld you into a new existence. Oh. As far as the Camarilla is concerned, you have no name past the one they gave you. Kevin Wetworth is a dead memory. But that is a corpse you never buried. You did not fully let go of your old name as... Huh. 
that's an interesting thing. Just changing of a name is a big point. And normally I'd say anyone who has access to technology would be like, no, we got the picture of him. He hasn't changed how he looks because that's the thing about vampires. So we have the picture, we have his identity, we have his everything. But honestly, they brought Kevin in because they can't do taxes. That That's literally basically why he's the accountant and they brought him in for it. If they need to turn someone just to do that, yeah, I'm assuming all of the things I just talked about that would make it really easy to find out what the hell's going on, they don't have access to. Their thralls might, but they wouldn't think to do it because they weren't told to because thralls. Maybe they would, maybe they wouldn't, but I'm assuming there's a lack of competence in this specific aspect. As we know, you Kevin could have told them, but... As soon as you gain standing within the support. Isn't that right? No! I am not telling you my shitty Camarilla roleplay name. You need to! He called it a roleplay name. It is integral to our survival. No. Well, you can either tell it's gonna be me horrible, that, isn't it? or you can tell me what your hell's fuckers packmates called you before you gain enough respect to be called Kevin. You had a name like Ape Boy or Shit Bin. Yeah. Too, you you present me with a two-pronged road. One leads to hell, and the other also leads to hell. Choose wisely. But there is no choice. You, are, you do not realize that I can simply walk off the fucking road. No, give what road? me names. It's Herbertus, isn't it? What in the weed? Oh, yeah, the cup is here now, by the way. Oh, so Herbertus? Okay, two things. One, the cops there, he got brought in. Two, Herbertus. I'm assuming that's the vampire name, or I guess the Camarilla side, because that's really old sounding, but also, really? Really? Yeah, and no, I'm agreeing with the insane laughter on this one. Sorry, terrible laughter. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I don't get that. My worst name in Fucking Dee Dee. Dee Dee? It's literally the only name I know you, boy. How do you know it? And what the fuck are you doing How here? How does he know him? Are you? Uh, I was invited here. I'm Detective Sergeant Guy Chapman. I'm also a ghoul of the Lady Regent. I know you from the Chantry. Or, well, Chantry? I haven't seen you in a few years. What's a Chantry? Maybe? I just know you were the Chantry's stockbroker or something. Accountant! I curse you! I curse you with balls fall off disease! I give you lupus! Not I want to just clarify quickly. I know there's some crazy ass shit in World of Darkness. Chronicles, Old World, take your pick. This is a joke, right? That's not an actual curse magic users can do, right? I'm only asking because I've seen people talk about some of the really crazed, fucked up shit high level magic can do, vampire or otherwise, and I'm just sitting here going, no, tell me, lie to me, lie to me and say this is not actually magic. It probably is. Oh God, it probably is. The werewolf one, you just have a wasting disease. No, now. Kevin, do not castrate that man. Oh God, He's he believes he will. His new assignment. Yeah, so as I said, I'm a ghoul. I'm one of the two regulars at the constabulary in Wells, Texas. You only have two? It's a bit far to Great Yarmouth one. and the bond between me and the region hasn't been renewed in, like, eight months? I'm honestly not too picky anymore. I just want it renewed. Never trust a traitor! Not even when you create! Except for me, trust me in all circumstances! I'll be honest, Herbie. I want your blood. What? What? You want to be blood bonded? By me? Herbie. Herbie, I'm dying. Herbie. I've been experiencing painful withdrawals for a long time now. Huh. I suddenly go back to my original thought, minus the mother point, but I think I might have been spot on by exactly who the fiddle player was. I'm assuming now that's the regent, and she's setting it up by leaving someone who, on the one hand, she's intentionally leaving to suffer and giving tools. It's a convoluted, overly done plot, and there's no way anyone would ever do this unless they knew exactly what the emperor, sorry, Big D would do. 
how the hell am I going back to my actually wrong assumption is what I'm starting to believe might be right? There's no way that's right. There's no way that's actually right. They're turning him because he doesn't actually care that he's a traitor because he just wants the blood bond because he's a ghoul. But also, he's been sane enough through months of withdrawal that he can contemplate to do this in the first place. Uh, just to go... I've been told that the blood bond and all of this when it comes to ghouls is massively addictive. Most addictions, after a couple hours, kick someone in the teeth. The fact that he's even speaking right now is actually showing a lot of fortitude on his part. So either he's lying, and he's still a plant, because someone's trying to use him as a cat's paw, which I'm still kind of leaning towards, and it probably is the regent. And even getting Kevin is probably part of it, because it makes a lot of sense if she just let him go, because it's fun. Or maybe another reason. I don't know. I just, this is... Mm. Okay, yeah, sure. And I know you're one of hers, so it should fix me up just fine. No! No, I get sippy, not vice versa. And you... I Fool. get sippy. You are so lost in your sauce, you don't know what you do. Nonsense. He really doesn't. I love being bloodbound. That is the point. D, this is a wicked and vile thing you ask. It's nothing of the sort. You say this, ignorant of the horrors of the blood bond. I have killed many in the Sabbat, but this is one line I shall not cross. Herbie, please. I don't care what silly name you use. I will never ghoul you. <sighs> Herbie, I have killed six men in service to the Regent. Two Only six? With my teeth. Oh. I recently injected contraband heroin into my system just to simulate the thrill of vampire blood. It didn't even compare. You being freaky will not convince me. Sure. Yeah, no, everything he said doesn't surprise me. Kevin thinking this is just being freaky. Okay, a little more surprising. Oh, I, I don't think you understand. No, he really I'm, doesn't. I am a freak. I will kill again, and I will literally blow up a constabulary for even the smallest possible pint of vitae. To be fair, there's only one other person there. Give me what I want. I might just try to take it, and if I try to take it, you'll both probably kill me. Yeah, probably. So you have my blood on your hands. I really don't think frankly, that bothers them. I'm so desperate for a fix, I don't really give a fuck. Average addict. Uh, why? Why would you want to do anything of the sort when you're so close to being able to just? Sever it. Because I'm a hopeless addict and I like being a ghoul. It's a nice deal. I can lift my kids above my shoulders no matter how old they get. I'm going to still be doing it when they're 30, is my goal. I just need to get a better master. That's all. You have kids? He plans to lift kids above his shoulders till he's 30? I mean, I knew magic was powerful, but god damn, that's just unrealistic, man. That is fucking terrible. Let me spell it out for you. Blood bonds are slavery. Slavery. In this case, it's more like indentured servitude. Okay, wow. How marginally better is that? Significantly, actually, because one is just horrible regardless, no matter what. The other is mostly horrible almost all the time. It's the almost that really makes it slightly better. Unless you get an asshole who's really made it completely horrible. And just tells you it's almost, in which case it's just false hope. And that actually is worse when you find out. But then you have to find out and ignorance is bliss. Up until it's not ignorance anymore. And then it's just horrible, horrible reality. But more importantly, there's a joke in there about this being British. I don't know where it is, but like, there's some kind of fiefdom joke in there because they're British. I don't know where, but there is. I just gotta find it. Well, I'm already a public servant, so I guess I'm just... Oh, there it is. Kevin! This man is offering yeah, no, his services sense. to us. His loyalty lies with the highest bidder. And you are a far better source of vitae than that hateful regent. It's... it's immoral! What? You are the in vampire the quoting sub morality to human hunter. I have lines I do not cross that I drew with my own free will, you fucking river troll! If you don't ghoul him, he will slink back to the regent. The regent will live on the prince of our activities, and we will all be blood hunted. Or he could get over his own sick addiction. Probably won't. <laughs> over your dead body. <laughs> That's the Man, point, yeah. What a weirdo you are. If we ghoul him, which we are doing consensually, I might add, we could <sighs> easily. I don't care. It's gross. It's not that bad once you do it a couple of times. Besides, you drink blood too, don't you? I'd like to point out that means he actually did find it kind of bad the first couple times. Even though he liked being ghouled, he still found it kind of bad. 
Uh. You get it. I only drink blood because I have to. You inject blood like it's crack. You don't He tried actual crack. crack. It wasn't there. Kevin, you fucking oh, oh, Kevin, oh, Kevin, Kevin, whatever. You totally can. You've never unlived in Yarmouth. You don't understand. He's got a point. Kevin, listen. With a detective on our side, we will have a pawn within the Norfolk police force. Do you know how valuable that is? With his help, we could creep closer to the machinations of the Camarilla than we ever could otherwise. Oh. I also make some mean jellied eels. I hate this entire sentence because I actually know what those are and that they exist and I can't convince myself it's just some random joke they put in there. No. No, this is real. Ooh. Go to bed. Uh, sorry. It's like I'm imagining the taste and I just... No. It's not so much eel because, you know, savory, well done, nice. Jellied. Oh. oh, God, I think I'm going to be sick thinking of it. Maybe they should ghoul him just to never have that word ever come out of his mouth again. Or words, and that just... Mm. I, I just I, oh, God. Okay, moving on. I also make some mean jellied eels. We must... Oh, no! Do not eat! But That's Karen. safer! <sighs> Think of our future! Uh, With his help, we could further our goals. In your new redemptionist cause, you could use this to set free the worthy of your kind before the new moon comes. New moon? Wow. Are you guys like a cult or something? Yeah, probably. He's, yeah, yeah basically. The cult of... Di <laughs> I just realized what the parallel is. It's the cult of Big D. One, yeah, I know the name. Funny as hell. Two, because in 40K and the TTS version, it's the Imperial cult. He literally has a cult for him in TTS, and they became the cult of the Man Emperor of Mankind, and now they're doing it again with a religion based around Big D. I wasn't expecting that to be one of the parallels that crossed over. Also, if this is what I'm assuming, and this is all him being a plant and basically going as a double agent, because he's still way too sane. Way too sane. Like, someone this far into their own addiction, that many months, with something that they say, by comparison, is more powerful than heroin. They should not be talking. They should be literally frothing at the mouth and trying to bite someone. And failing that, going into, you know, withdrawal symptoms and just kind of not being a person. Yeah, I'm assuming all of this is bullshit and he's a plant being given to them. Possibly to inform, probably to inform, but also because, yeah, you, know, you can throw them at enemies you really want not alive. Probably. Or not unalive. We are entirely secular in our orthodoxy, let me assure you. Yes, he's the oh, big Mandy. Wait. Come now, Kevin. I won't force you. I know it's a difficult decision. <laughs> he's tempting the vampire with immorality. Fine. This is such a funny situation. Just... Hand me the nicest knife you have, and I will stab my wrist open. Fantastic! Uh, let's use this. Uh, no, wait, this one's poison. Oh, uh, uh, this one! Uh, oh, enchanted death magics. Uh, death magics oh, work on the vampire? Some restored Iron Age cutlery lying around here somewhere. None of that Icini shit. I've seen enough Boudicca roleplay to last for a lifetime at the Regent's Chantry. Did, did you know she loves talking about how unshaven her vagina is? I mean, good lord! Oh, of course. You're lucky I happen to have this glaze flying around, or you'd be- So he has random Iron Age cutlery, and I only know about a from Fake Grand Order, and, um... <clears throat> we're just gonna move on. Shit out of Good. Give. Thank you. Oh, also, I forgot. He just um, pierced out. Your pack is dead. I told you that, right? Yep. No, he did. How are you feeling about Probably hated that? them. I mean, Coulomb's making me want to stab you 40 times, but it also feels like I've dumped my way out of a psycho polycule. So I'm feeling like hitting the town and injecting some crack. Very I, uh, what? Psycho polycule? Psycho, I get is a mental term, but polycule? Okay, um, this actually hurts because I am an English major and I have a master's in fiction and I don't actually know this word. So I'm just going to I was going to say swallow my pride, but that would assume I had pride, which we all know is a lie. Does anyone know what this word is? 
I actually don't. I'm assuming because of context that it feels like having someone ghoul or be ghouled by him is making him feel really good, but also the viniculum, the blood bond, is making him hate him because he killed his pack mate. So it's like, eh, evenly out. I just don't actually know that word. It really bugs me. Like, unironically bugs me. Very sexy, Kevin. You know, they were all bastards. Yeah. But I liked those bastards. Yeah. Almost as much as I hated those bastards. So you Would basically you gone into the same situation? Would you like to take a moment? No, I'd really like to not dwell on it at all, in fact. Makes me almost glad to see Officer Bumfuck here. Uh, God. Chapman. No. And what of your, uh, sister? Uh, I'll look into it. Very good. Oh, that was not expecting right, that answer. So I've got a question. I thought you were Kevin. <laughs> no, I am Big D. He actually introduces himself as that. I want that to be his real name somehow, or even a nickname that actually has a D in there. And no one to believe it. So you were just... Bullshitting? Lying? Yep. Well, uh... Yeah. Oh, wow. Did you really not catch that? Damn. What else did you lie about? Everything. What? Except a few things. Uh, well, the people we found were actually vampires. Uh, we actually took them hostage, and we actually planted those mines. We owned them, and I fell out of the window on purpose because I was sleeping. Hello, I am hostage number four. Blimey. That kind of sucks. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it might be nicer if they just killed him now because the, he probably is going to hurt them worse as a support. Oh, yeah. No, I'm going back to the theory that he's a plant. It's not even a double plant, not even double crossing. He's literally just that kind of incompetent. Wow. <laughs> I'm a terrible detective. You really oh, are. Come on, you did just fine. Besides, you're a degenerate ghoul whose brain is polluted with vampire sludge. Of course you couldn't best my indomitable intellect. He did lie to him very effectively, but... You're calling someone a degenerate is very... Pray your next words carefully. Okay, consider this. Fuck you. Honestly, yeah. I mostly thought it odd how you turned from the small, bleak British man on your license into a giant Middle Eastern meat slab. It read like an online ad and it distracted me from the whole interview. Yeah, just as... <laughs> Yeah, Big D didn't realize there was a picture. <laughs> oh, wow. Don't you, new master? That's a surefire way to get yourself not eaten. Oh, I'm sure we will get along just he gave him a compliment, fine. so he's fine with it. Now. <laughs> oh, God. Let us go ride the miniature steam locomotive. What? All right. But I need to be heading home to the kids soon, so maybe we should do the ghouling thing first. Yeah, well, I need to get home to my horse, and you don't see me stressing out about it. I want to ride the funny little train. They have an actual train? We can drink blood on the train. Come on, let us go. Oh, yeah, there was a miniature train that actually existed. People show me pictures. Uh, wait, did you even check if it was open? We will commandeer it. Come on, let's go. Go, 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 go. Where are we even? Shut up. Go, Wait, they're go, not at the house go, already? Go, go, Storm them. Charge! Go, go! Where were they? <laughs> what? Now, let you boys do running away from your scary kid grandmother! Yeah! <laughs> they were running all right, and she was, she, she was running after them. With her big I'm pretty sure that's Carl the Deranged, but I boy. don't even. Yeah, she was running after them with her knife. And... Yeah, they, they ran into a forest, and they what am I even fell looking at? Cliff, you see. And behind them, as they looked up, they saw Grandmother. She dropped her knife. And she picked her up a crash for her what? baby. Her big a knife bow? And she ran down and she killed one of her brothers. What now am I watching? One left and he was cornered. <laughs> 
Okay, so I have many questions, and all of them start and end with, what the fuck did I just watch at the end of the video? I, I just, I don't even, you know, for the sake of my own sanity, what little of it remains, I'm going to ignore everything. Just, I, I'm just going to ignore everything that just happened at the end of that video, because it does not exist. It does not exist, and I'm going to keep telling myself it does not exist, because it does not exist. Yeah. More importantly... I was not expecting them to recruit the detective. I really wasn't. The fact that he gave away the game, they made a point to show that he gave away the game because he doesn't look anything like his picture. Sure, that actually is funny. I love lampshading it like that. It's just one of those little things. I'm just, yeah, that's cool. I like it. I like that they're pointing out that, yeah, he kind of gave it away all the time, but this guy's such a horrible detective because I'm assuming he's massively into withdrawal symptoms, but also competent enough that if he wasn't on him then even with you know, mind numbing destroyed symptoms he was able to at least be professional which is still more than I expect of an addict that many months into withdrawals but yeah this is um pretty damn good I love it I love the writing I'm kind of curious where the hell Kevin was waiting for him outside the I guess police station or that this guy being willing to go full-on crazy murder hobo because he can is perfectly willing for him. And that if it wasn't for the fact he was a ghoul, he would still be kind of monstrous. I think he's going to have a lot of fun lines when the normal-ish human... Eh, ish ghoul and all... Is going to be weirder than all the other... <laughs> uh, chuckle fucks, let's put it that way. <laughs> put together. Oh my god. Still a little miffed at myself for getting the entire uh, Kevin's sister confused with the big D's. Mom, right, part. Yeah, really would have been nice if I remembered Wetworth was his last name. Really annoyed about that. That's on me. More importantly, I still kind of think that that might be exactly... That I came to the right conclusion in the exact wrong ways. It's like thinking 1 plus 1 and then getting E equals MC squared. Which is like, no, it's wrong, but also... Okay, well, that just, that happened. <laughs> yeah. Could I be wrong? I mean, it's me, probably. But it just seems really likely that this is very much a setup by someone else. Because everything's working out in such a way that no one else in these situations would have these kind of events happen. Plus, we know that I'm assuming the regent was the one watching them at the end of episode one. So it would make sense that she's aware of all this and just setting them up with tools to do her bidding without realizing it. And also, because they don't realize it, really good deniability. But yeah, if you haven't already, there's a link below to the original video. Hit it up. It's Alpha Boost. It's the entire damn crew and some really damn good writers and voice actors and editors and just really damn good people. Hit it up. And when you're done, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week when we go into the next audio log, which I'm going to pull the name up right now. Something is wrong with horse. <laughs> and from the thumbnail, it looks like an actual horse. I don't know what the hell's going on right now, but I'm looking forward to this. So I'm going to go check that out now. And I'll see you guys next week. Adios.